Welcome to WTSA, the World Telecommunications Standardization Assembly being held here in New Delhi, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio by Ernest Sid Farrero, who is the Managing Director of Wave Control. Ernest, welcome to the studio. Thank you very much. Now, tell me a little bit about Wave Control and uh, what you produce and uh, why you're here today. Well, uh, Wave Control is a, is a company based in Barcelona, Spain. And what we uh, develop is uh, instruments for the measurement of electromagnetic fields, but with the goal of assessing uh, the human exposure to electromagnetic fields. And uh, we are here at the WTSA uh, to show our products and to uh, support the standardization because, of course, our products, they follow standards uh, developed by the ITU. Uh, now, when you talk about electromagnetic fields, how much of a risk is that for us, the, apart from the engineers as such, uh, just general population? Well, um, in fact, there is not a real risk. Uh, um, um, we have developed uh, standards, the ITU has developed standards on that, um, to limit the levels uh, we should be exposed to. Uh, there are even exceeding the levels, there are safety margins. So uh, usually we are below the levels, um, shouldn't be a problem. But of course, as electromagnetic fields are, let's say, you cannot smell them, you cannot hear them, you cannot feel them. Uh, we need instruments uh, to know which are the real levels. And of course, if in a specific situation we have levels which are unexpectedly high, uh, we should take action. I mean, you read about, you don't charge your phone next to your head by your bedside table, that kind of thing. So that's, that kind of thing is not an issue, basically. Yeah, well, of, of course, of course as, as, as far you are from a source of electromagnetic fields, the lower the levels are. But um, mobile phones, uh, base stations, all this kind of uh, telecommunication equipment is tested. It's tested for our safety and it's tested with instruments like ours. And uh, so everything should be uh, aware of that and should be, everything should be safe. So the tools that you've developed, uh, they're not for the standard man in the street, or are they? Or what, what, is this, what is this that you've, you've got here been demonstrating? Yeah, well, this, this is a handheld uh, electromagnetic field meter. And uh, it's a professional instrument. I mean, yes, it's not for the general public. Um, and it's used for assessing the compliance of base stations or for assessing the, 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 the exposure at the specific places. Uh, it could be used uh, not only in the telecommunications industry, but also in other uh, industries. I mean, nowadays there, is, there are electromagnetic fields everywhere. So in the automotive industry, in the welding, uh, industry, in aerospace industry, everywhere. So um, these instruments, uh, the most important thing is that with these instruments you can get the level of the electromagnetic field and also compare this level to the, to the normative limit. So you can choose a limit depending on your country, depending on your industry, and the instrument uh, can give you a percentage to that limit. So if you are, for example, 20 percent, well, you know that you still have a, an 80 percent of a safety margin. So what are the figures? What are the numbers that are coming up there? And what does the graph mean? Yeah. At this moment, for instance, we have uh, the first number um, on top. It's the instant uh, field level. And the number um, below is the percentage against the IGNIR limit. In this case, we we have the limit we have uh, chosen is the IGNIR 2020 limit for the general public. Um, and this is the, the percentage uh, now uh, at this moment in this place, which is 5% of the limit, which is uh, very low. Okay, and very good. Safe. So I've been, I'm safe in the studio here. Yes, I'm, you're I'm, very I'm, safe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all right on that. However, if I was on top of a telecom tower, it would be reading a lot more, more a lot higher. Is that right? It, not a lot high. A little bit high, probably, but not a lot high, higher. So um, it, it, it depends on the configuration of the base station. So and how many, uh, how many antennas and operators are in the base station, what's the, the output power of the antennas, but all of them should be compliant. Excellent. And I mean, there are, of course, um, 
in terms of technicians and that kind of thing, there, there are some countries where people are wearing entire suits to protect them from electromagnetic fields. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. But those suits does not work really very well because um, in terms of electromagnetic fields, you cannot really block entirely the fields. So what we have is we have another piece of instrument, which is an RF personal monitor, it's called. And uh, with this instrument, the, the workers, they can wear this in a harness, for instance, the tower climbers, the engineers that have to be near the antennas. And the, the instrument will warn them if the level is uh, unexpectedly high. Excellent. So, and uh, you say you, you've developed this uh, in, in Barcelona. How long have you been going for? Uh, Wave Control is a 27-year-old company, right. so, <laughs> so those instruments do not have uh, 27 years. No. Probably they have like uh, 15, around 15, but uh, yeah, the company is, uh, Wave Control is a small company, but it's not a young company. Excellent. And what kind of feedback have you had here at the Expo? Very good, very good. In fact, very good. We have uh, been able to meet uh, with a lot of uh, people from the sector, different stakeholders, from regulators, from uh, operators, uh, from uh, companies doing uh, maintenance or installation of uh, telecommunication infrastructure. And uh, all of them uh, really appreciate uh, we are there and, and, and we, we, we have been uh, very positive about uh, their feedback. So it, it was very good. And what are your plans for the future? Well, for the future, well, we, we, we would like uh, to have a WTSA uh, <laughs> meeting every year, <laughs> but this is not possible. But for the future, we will be uh, uh, keep on uh, developing, uh, developing uh, new solutions, new instruments uh, to better measure the electromagnetic fields, which can be useful for the, for the sector. And, uh, and keep, keep going, keep going. Our, our motto is uh, develop, develop and develop uh, new solutions and better solutions every day. I well, we wish you the very best of luck with that. And thank you for uh, at least reassuring me that in the studio, uh, I'm okay with regards to my exposure to EMF. Yes, and we're safe. Yeah, <laughs> we're safe. <laughs> uh, and uh, we look forward to catching up with you again at another event, hopefully. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. And if you've enjoyed this interview, which I'm sure you will have, then do check out our other interviews. I've got like a microphone here. Can I just <laughs> hold it here for a second? That's great. There you are. There's, that's the, uh, the, the tool itself. Um, and if you've enjoyed this interview, which I'm sure you will have, then do check out our other interviews on our YouTube channel, as well as our podcasts on our podcast channels. And for further information, visit our website at www.itu.int. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs>